Welcome guys to the first episode of Time with Bio and I'm your host Lisa Bio. Today we are at New York Sizzler located at West Hills Mall Shop 151 and they do fine dining and takeaway. They have continental dishes, Chinese dish, Ghanaian dish and for the pizza lovers they also have pizza and they have tasty drinks here. Welcome back. If you just joined, this is Time with Bio and my guest here is a model an actress and a dancer and in fact a mom too she is the only controversial lady right now in the industry you will love her and it's no other than our lovely Rosemond Brown also known as Ikiapim Polo so about your name Ikiapim Polo how did you get that name because so far as we know Ikiapim is in the eastern region and Polo is something we eat so how did you get that name all right there's this blogger on Instagram called Those Girls Celebrity. I had a little issue with a few other and fellow McCaffrey. They were fighting, so I asked them to stop the fight because they are not kids, right? So true that, a few other took it personal and we had an issue. So Those Girls was like, since I said I'm from Equiapim, she named me, he or she named me Equiapim Polo and then gave a few other head <laughs> jabbing kaku. You understand so me i love mine so much so i just updated it that's all i love it cabin polo now what is your main profession as in some people know you to be an actress some know you to be a dancer some are saying you're a model what is your main profession you've said it all oh, i'm an actress video vixen and a lot more and i have a foundation as well Rosemont brown foundation did you ever dream of becoming an actress? Yes, since childhood, uh, childhood, because when I was in school, when I was in class four, people used to say that I looked like the late Susie Williams. So I took that in my mind. So I was working hard, really working hard. Even when I got to senior high, I studied general arts just because I wanted to be an actress. Okay. So how many movies have you been in so far? Oh... <laughs> when we talk of TV series, I think that will be eight. And movies too, I think eight as well. Me meeting you here has given me a different perception about you. I mean, people say you're a pimpolo or you want to be actress and Osiki attention and stuff. Can you tell us who Rosemont Brown actually is? Okay. Um... Um, I'm half Ghanaian and I always say half Togolian. <laughs> Ghana, I'm from Ekwiapi Manfi and then Ega Osu. And then um, Togo, I'm from Chevye. That's why I'm, I'm called Alade from Chevye, Togo. And then I was born and raised from Sohum. You understand? My mom is there. And I was r raised up by my grandfather. He took care of me. I, I schooled, um, I completed some Roman Catholic GSS. So after I went to Adontin Senior High School in Kuforivia. So I came straight to Accra. And my life has been so tough. It has not been easy, as everyone knows, because I always say this out there. I really suffered before completing school. And it was true people. Yes. And I'm still suffering. And, and I love myself. You know, as always. <laughs> Let's get personal a little bit. Are you dating? Oh my God. Oh my God. Dating. <laughs> yes, I'm dating. Everyone knows it. <laughs> I'm dating. I told you I'm dating a 50 year old man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. People, Ghanaians are saying the movie industry is dead. As an actress, what do you think about it? Yes, Ghana here is dead because they don't support <coughs> each other. <coughs> and they don't want we, the young ones, to come up. And it's like people are fed up of seeing one face. One face. Because when we talk about the Nigerians, we always compare them because they are really going high with the acting it's like now acting is nigerian job they are work there and it pays them but ghana here we only have one phase if not my sweet sister jackie 
maybe Nadia, if not Nadia, Mark Brown. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you, you yourself, you're fed up, right? Mm -hmm. They have to mix us, the young ones, so that we can pick up. Because that's what they did to them. Jackie was like me before she got to wherever she, she, is, she is now. And I respect her a lot. I always talk about her. Jackie and Mark Brown, I really respect them. They've really worked hard to get whatever they have or wherever they are now. So they should just allow us to, because we, we are talented. But if you don't try us, how will you know? Yes. Now, do you think the movie industry needs more investors in it? Trust me, yes. Because now we don't even see our producers anymore. They've all run to the foreign countries. And then Nigeria, because they are making money there. Because here we don't push. And even if the producers are ready to help us, the young ones, the old, some of the old ones will not do it. For instance, if... Um, excuse, I'm not saying that's what they do, but if my brown go to a shoot and they said Rosemary Brown is on the set, because Rosemary Brown is no one, she wouldn't love to work with me. She wants to work with a well-known actress. So... That is it. We really need investors in the movie acting. So have you, have you had any problems with any actor or any actress in the movie industry before? Oh, problem. <laughs> I think a lot. Some I don't see by here because a lot of people go, a lot of them go on set and they get to know that I'm, I'm going to be there and they wouldn't do it. And not to talk of uh, Golden Movie Awards. Um... I was asked to come and give an award and one of the actress well-known actress was called to so i was sitting at the backstage she got there and she asked the organizer what am i doing there and they told her that i'm also to give and she said if i'm going to give an award she wouldn't do it and she turned back yes and she knows if she's going to watch this she knows i'm talking to her even salma mumuni was sitting there so she, salma told me that i should be strong I shouldn't let these things worry me. You get me? But they are in the industry. This is for showbiz. Everyone is trying hard to get wherever they want to be. What have I done to you? Nothing. Prince David Osei just insulted me after I gave the award. You understand that? Why did, they, why did Golden Movie Awards give me the chance to be on that platform? That stupid girl. But we have a lot of um, people there. Um, we have... He was like, we have good people, better people than Rosemary Brown. How can you say that? Who, is, who are those better people? Do you want to tell me that uh, Golden Movie Award doesn't know what they wanted? Mimi posted me that day, after Prince David said, did that, that Rosemary Brown, we are proud of you, and you did exactly what we asked you to do. That should tell you that what I, I wanted to do wasn't, I didn't do it on my, do, do you hear me? Excuse me, please. You know my English is not good, so forgive me. So are you trying to say there's no love in the industry? There is no love. Hatred. They just see you and smile to you, but they don't want you. They don't want you. Do you get me? Mommy, I love everyone. I look up to them. Sometimes you can see me in my videos. I'm so happy to be around them because it's a, it's a great privilege. Do you get me? From where, I, from where I'm coming from, do you understand? For the background and... If I'm able to be mixed with these Adeline people, you understand? It's, 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 it's God's this thing. I don't, I don't know how to post it, but I'm grateful. The little I have, I'm cool with it. And I'm, I'm not in the competition with anyone. I'm not in to compete with anyone. I can never compete with anyone because they were there before me. I just need their blessings. I just need them to pull me up. You get me? Because without them, we are nothing. They have to recommend us. Yes. Can you mention some of the names of those in the industry who snobs you a lot? Hey, a lot. Oh. A lot. <laughs> Can you mention their names? <laughs> this is serious. But, um, not to talk of um, this lady, uh, Muntali wife. That was recently. Yes, I was invited to the Miss Universe. So on the red carpet, she was taking pictures with everyone. So I got there. Do you get me? So when I got there, I don't know what happened. There's these photographers. 
I don't want to mention their name because if I should mention their name, their name is going to be tarnished or maybe I'm going to hype them because anyone I talk about, their name goes viral, yes. So I'm not going to mention the photographer's name. But he said something to the lady when I walked to the lady. And I, it wasn't in my plan to take a picture with the lady. It was one photographer. Anytime he sees me, he tries to, because he knows I'm lively and free, Anytime he see me on the red carpet, he try to point someone to me that Rosemont, take a picture with this person and he would, he would take me. So when he, when he saw the lady on the red carpet, he was like, Rosemont, this is Montali's wife, take a picture. So I went to the lady to take the picture. The lady was like, give me one minute. I said, okay. And I saw her somewhere else taking pictures with someone. I went to her four times and she snubbed me. You get me? And what happened was, after we entered, where I was sitting, her family was there. Her children were, were there. So they brought her husband to come and sit by me. So I bowed my hair. I was crying. I shed tears. So the husband turned, slowly turned and asked me, are you okay? And I was like, yes, I'm okay. Do you know that I took a picture with Sule on the round table and the same um, photographers deleted the picture. And the one who took the picture told me, I have the message here, I can show it to you, that the, he can't find the picture on the PC. Wow. How? Do you get me? So you have to know how people hate people. Ghana here, that's why we don't go on. White people doesn't do that. Nigerian doesn't do that. They help each other. But Ghana, they will push you for someone to kill you. Yes, they will push you for someone to kill you. They know that if you step here, you you die. But they will push you there for you to die. So that's why we don't go on. Recently, you trended very well with a video of you and the white man, an old white man. Who is that man? Actually, he was even saying he would take you to Texas. <laughs> that is she, eh? I was on set with a man, with Jessica Williams and co. I, did, I even did a video with Jessica, that one who went for, uh, about the chicken. So the white man saw me. Oh, so that one was staged. <laughs> that's the power of me. <laughs> yes, and people believe whatever I do and whatever I say. And that's why I want them to know that this is for showbiz. They shouldn't take anything I do out there personal. And what's, what bothers me is the, the, the famous one in it. Why do you have to take whatever I do personal? Because you've been there. Do you get me? So you don't have to take this personal. And you see me and you... I say hi and you snub me. Even if I want to take a picture with you, you snub me. No, and you tell me I'm not good for your personality. What do you mean? What personality are you talking about? What, what, what is it? I'm, even if I'm a cripple, you have to do that to me? No, because I'm not a, crip, a crippled. And the person has seen where I'm heading to. So they wouldn't help me to get there. That's it. So the white man, I, I did a movie with him. After the movie, because I'm so, you know, fun and so we decided to do that video. And you saw the man was so cool behind me. He, he doesn't look like someone who was forced to do the video. Yes, after I even posted the conversation between I and the man. And he was so cool because he said, we went far to the U.S. Uh, Congress or whatever. And he is happy. So why would you sit back and laugh at me? For what? I can't speak good English, yes. I'm a Ghanaian. I was born here. I was raised in the village by my grandfather. We speak tree. That is what I spoke. I learned English at school. Do you understand? So if I'm not fluent, I've never traveled out before. So you don't have to laugh at me. If you've, you have gotten it, I haven't. So let, let me feel comfortable with whatever I can. Yes, that's it. How do you cope with all the negative comments you get about yourself? I'm so cool because those negative comments really push me high. Because it makes bloggers come on my page. Now I've gone far. Even US bloggers are blogging on me. Nigerian big platform, I'm there. Most of the stars, those girls, they say they are stars, big stars, they are not there. And they don't understand. It's not, they are not insulting me. They love what I do. And it's catchy. You understand? They talk about something that is catchy. That's something that is trending. And they are talking about me because I'm trending. If you can't do it, it doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. 
Do you understand? So I'm cool. I see some of the even me before I post something, I know all the insult that will come. Sometimes I will talk to my manager. Oh, this thing I'm posting. Someone will say, Rosemary Brown, you don't know how to speak English. Go and learn English. Rosemary Brown, you don't your face is not beautiful. Rosemary Brown, you are not beautiful, you look ugly. Yes, I look ugly, but I'm doing it and I'm getting I'm going far. And I'm getting my money. Because anyone I talk about pays me. Any promotion I do, I get my money. Recently, I did a, an advert for a, a, a product, a cosmetic. And she paid me. And she, now she assigned me a year contract. Wow. Because she loved whatever I did for her. And that thing went viral. Nigerians pick it. All blo every the bloggers pay people, they've not done, they've not seen it before. Going naked in the washroom, doing that promo that advert. And I tricked them because they thought they were going to see my breast. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's how I do my things and it goes viral. So you don't have to take it personal. <laughs> Tell us about your beef with Achipalago. What is going on? <laughs> you know, now everyone wants to hit on me because they know immediately they do that, I will respond and it will let them go far. And me too, it helps me too. And I feel happy when it happens that way. That means the person has recognized me. Yes, yeah, because um, when I started I hate on people. I talk on people. I talk about people. Moinsha issue will come. I'll talk about it. Dumolo issue will come. And that really took me far. And Palago, Palago, actually Palago, um, he was hacked. So now that he has started his page, I think he just wanted to hit on me to go, to go far. Yes, to get a high. And he did it and I responded and he's getting it. Now he's hitting 70k. And I know he's happy, yes, because for him even to come on my page, pick my picture and post it on his page, it's, 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 it's a flash for me. And I was happy, Palago, when you picked my picture, because I respect you and you know that. <laughs> now, for most of you who don't know, she has an NGO foundation and it's the Rosemont Brown Foundation, whereby she helps kids, little, little kids underprivileged. Rosemont, tell us about your NGO uh, project. Okay, it has been something that I wanted to do long ago, but because <laughs> by then I was, you know, so when I hit, when everyone got to know about me, my first pay, I decided to use it to do something for my school, Suhum Roman Catholic School, because when I was there, I was suffering, even how to get a size book was a problem. I have to go to the farm, get firewood, and go and sell it. Coconuts, a lot. I did a lot of trading. Go for people's bread, go to the um, station, sell it. The profit, I use it to buy my school uniform and stuff. I've been through a lot. <laughs> and I've, I've said a lot out there. So I decided to go back to my school. I donated a thousand size books with my face printed colored and then 800 pence and 800 pence to my school i think i've done this is my third uh, donation that i've done so do you get small sponsors or everything comes out from you okay the first two i did it on my own but recently one that i did for the anglican school which is the school bags and then um, school books with 15 cements yes so with that one pinamon cosmetic helped me because of what i did for for her the promo the commercial i did for her so she decided to help me with that so she supported me if you are watching she needs more sponsors help her out she can't do that alone she needs Ghanaians to also help her out in the next 10 years to come where do you see yourself you and your family and your kids oh here in ghana but i would love to travel outside to experience whatever is going on there because a lot of people are insulting me and I want to further my education and then my I want to polish my English too yes so tell us about your son how old is he now <laughs> he's five years where is he is he here with you or? no he's with my mom in soon don't you miss him oh I do see him even today I'll be going there he has been with my mom since he was six months. Yeah, my mom took him 
away so that I'll be able to work on my dreams. Do you see yourself as a role model to some Ghanaians? Oh yes, because even if I should step out right now, <laughs> you're small brown. Even on my page, people say you are my role model. That alone is a, is a plus for me. And guys, I love you. You know a Polo loves you. All that I post on my page is for you. A lot of people say that anytime they are bored, they just step on my page just to satisfy and oh my English is not coming. Just to be happy. Do you understand? My name come a tree. Eh? Mobile my page in the so see my money bed she swung. It's in the moon that you people should keep coming on my page, keep on supporting me, keep on praying for me. And you know I love you. Anytime, anything you do, just say a prayers before you step out. Always remember, I love you. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. So, as an actress, which movies have you been featured in? And music videos as well. Oh, wow, movies. When we talk of TV series, I started with um, Oswald Street with the late uh, George Williams. And then um, I did Oswald, Oswald Street um, phone shop. Um, Odola Steak is a movie. I did Choco Tro Tro, I did Obra. Recently, I'm even with um, Efira. It's every Saturday, Adum TV, eight o'clock. I'm with Efira, and then I did Salah with Kasim Sinari and Jackie Apia. Um, I did um, Akra Hustle with Jackie Apia and Kasim again. A lot more. And then Saiche Gang with 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 Mac Brown, Lydia Folsen. And a lot more. So if Ghanaians are saying I'm not an actress, I don't have a problem. Because I see myself an actress with these few things that I've done. And when we talk of the music videos, my first music video was, was with uh, Jackie and uh, Samojan and Castro in the back on uh, those days. That music. So you have to know that I came from far. Asamojan the back on uh, no. by then you cry, you, you you've not started watching. TV and then I did one with Guru Samba and then I did one with Stone Boy Sofa Mijo a lot Ephraim Calamity um, 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 Salah with Mugis and um, um, Makasio a lot do you understand and I've done a lot more that is coming so Ghanaians just have patience okay all that I'm doing it's fun. Don't take it personal. I beg you. I love you guys. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. <laughs> Is there anything you want to tell your fans out there? Oh, all that I want to say is they should expect more because I'm still working on my dreams. And they shouldn't take anything that I do on my page personal. As I said, it's fun. They should keep supporting me and pray for me. And I'll put a lot of smiles on my, their face, as always. Is there anything new we should expect from Usman Brown? Yes, I did Teen with the Nigerians. It's a movie, So Close to Hell, Honeymoon Trip, Hero. Oh, a lot more. A lot. I can't say it all, but it's coming. And with the Nigerians, so if you are people low, I'm dreaming, I dream, I'm dreaming big. You know that. So keep on supporting me. Oh, very soon, Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood, oh, bro, for name, but for me, Bonnie Chemi, I'm, I'm learning, I'm still learning, please, I beg you. Very soon, I'm going to Hollywood, fire. <laughs> Any advice for the industry, the movie industry? Okay. All that I want to tell the producers and the directors is they should, sh they shouldn't listen. If you really know what you want, and if you know and you think that Rosemary Brown is good, and you know what you will achieve. Don't listen to anyone who destroys Rosamund Brown because I don't do that to anyone. I always want to see an, everyone on top. So if anyone should come to you and tell you that no, Rosamund Brown is a bush girl, she can't speak good English, she can't express herself, and because of that, you push me aside, then you are going to lose because you will use them and you will still not get your money. But you, you use Rosamund Brown and they will come. You think they are insulting me, they, but they love me. Recently, you did you saw my my stage program at National Theatre. <laughs> the place was full up. Oh, it was just a, a stage performance. Oh, so please 
I'm ready to work with you. I'm ready to learn. Please, I beg you, call me for jobs. Call her for jobs. She needs it. She wants to promote her project. That's all for now, guys. Thank you for watching. And thank you, Rosamund Brown, for making my show great. Thank you, too. Thanks for calling me. Welcome. Hi, guys. As you know, this is Rosamund Brown, a.k.a. Kyapin Polo. And as you know, this is Pinax GH. It's an online TV station. It's on YouTube. All social networks, you know. And you know everything I talk about is unique and is jet. Keep watching Pinax GH. They are the best. I love everything about them. Kiss case. Mwah.